I don't know your name, but you stated that it would hinder police investigations if, de if prostitution and sex work. My experience is as a trafficking victim. I have no further experience. Therefore, my questions are probably not very relevant to you. Okay, well, I'm just curious as to why you said it would hinder the police's ability to investigate sex trafficking if consensual sex work was legalized. Okay, so here's the scenario. The police are walking down the street. They see a young lady standing on the corner and a man is obviously soliciting her for sex. Mm -hmm. He's not allowed to approach her because it's a perfectly legal thing. There's no probable cause. Well, Can where you, is... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we go any further, because I do have things to do, guess my age. I don't know, 30-something? Thank you, I'm 50. You can't tell somebody's age just by looking at them. Thank well, you. what does that have to do with police investigating crimes of rape? Because the federal law suggests, ex says explicitly that a girl under the age of 18 being prostituted or a boy under the age of 18 being prostituted is a sex trafficking victim. Therefore, it is an investigative procedure to find out if that person is being exploited. And therefore, if there is no crime being committed, the police can't investigate. So would you support legalizing sex work for people over the age of 18 at least? No. Why not? How does that affect people under the age though? Like, what's the connection? It's too hard to tell. Couldn't you just you ask just people? I was 20 years younger than I am. Well, that doesn't matter. You're an adult, and we're talking about adults, so I'm just curious as to how... I think it matters. So, do you believe that adults who engage in consensual sex acts for money should go to prison? Do you, do you support I'm, I'm taking actually, taxpayer money to do that? I'm, like... I'm actually finished talking to you. Okay. Well, I don't think you very well supported or defended the positions you put forth. Um, I think that people who aren't engaged in harming people shouldn't be harmed. And I think it's unfortunate that there are people who are being harmed because of these laws. It makes it difficult for someone who is a victim of sex trafficking to go to the police when the very act of being a victim is what's illegal right now, and that's the sex work exchange. Why don't we just instead keep the rape and the trafficking illegal, as it should be, and then just focus our efforts there? But that's just my perspective. But you have a good day. So that woman was uh, not a bureaucrat. She works or represents, uh, I believe it's a website. I could be wrong. Um, she said something about helping to organize a conference that was referenced during that committee meeting. Um, and the, at the conference, many of the people who were there representing actual sex workers were saying that they were not invited to that conference, only legislators were, um, and that some inaccurate information was presented there. I guess it was repeated by the legislators today and then there were uh, some people who actually do sex work that were saying, you have incorrect information. One of the assertions was that uh, they were saying that like all uh, adult prostitutes were at some point trafficked, and the sex workers were saying that's fundamentally not true according to their numbers. It was 98% voluntary engagement in sex work. So, yeah.